In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to count the number of letters in a string. So first we'll make a test string. We'll say chorus is equal to a string with some letters. And we'll put some digits in here too. And we'll put some symbols in here too. And so this string has a bunch of letters in it, but not every character is a letter. There's white space characters, there's digits, there's symbols. And what we want to know is how many letters are there in the string. So we'll write a function to do that. We'll say here int count letters, and the function is going to accept a string as an argument, and it's going to return the number of letters in that string. We're going to include a couple libraries to help us write this function. We'll include string.h, because string.h has a string length function we can use to find the length of the string. And we're also going to include the ctype library, because the ctype library has a function that's going to let us know whether a character is a letter or not. So we'll provide a definition of this function down here. And the first thing we're actually going to do is get the length of the string. So we'll say int length is equal to strlens, and we'll get the length of the string. And what we're going to do is make a loop that's going to look at each character in this string one at a time by using a counter variable that's going to be incremented by one each time through the loop. And the length here gives us the length of the string up to, but not including, the null terminator character. So this will be the last character we check here, is the last character in the string. So we'll say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. This here is a loop that's going to go from the first character to the last character by incrementing i by one each time and going up until that length there. Then we're going to have an if inside the loop that's going to check to see if the character at index i is a letter or not. So that's going to be the is alpha function that comes with C type that lets us know whether a character is a letter or not. So we're going to say here if is alpha s i. So is alpha comes with C type and we give it a character as an argument. In this case, we're giving it the character at this position in the string. And we're saying that if it's true, that means that this character is a letter. So we're going to keep a running count then of all the letters. We'll say int count is equal to zero. And every time we encounter a letter, we'll increment it by one. Then when we're done this, we'll have counted all the letters in the string. So we can just return the count. So now that we've got the function written, let's give it a test. We'll say up here, int result is equal to count letters, and we'll give it s as an argument. Then we'll print out the result. We'll say letter count, we'll output the value. And we'll run this here. And we get letter count of 22. And if we look at this string here, that is the accurate count. Because you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And so we have 22 letters in the string. And our function here has been able to accurately count the number of letters in the string. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.